Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, I am sick. You can probably hear in my voice, I have a really crappy cold, um, but the show must go on. Um, so um, yeah, I am back from sunny Florida. Um, I had such an amazing time with Kathleen and Lee and Jeremy and Billy. Um, if you're on Facebook, you would have seen the pictures. Even on Instagram, I posted a few. Um, Kathleen, if you're watching, um, thank you so much to you and Rick for being such incredible hosts and spoiling us rotten and treating us like royalty. Um, I love you guys and I'll be back one day if you'll have me. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, back to reality. And obviously I got sick probably on the plane, in the airport, who knows. Um, but I wanted to show you guys some dried results of a few things that I haven't shown you yet. So this is the dried ring pour. Um, now you can see it definitely pulled away from the edges, but I knew that was going to happen. It was expect expected, so it is what it is. But I really love these rings. So I will embellish it, not anytime soon because life is pretty busy right now. But I will at some point probably embellish some of these rings, maybe with a metallic marker, and then it will get um, a top coat of crystal resin. This is a 14 by 14. So if anyone's interested in it as it is, you can purchase it as is. Um, next thing I wanted to show you is the dried results of the black and turquoise piece. Look at that. So, oops, I hit the camera. It dried perfectly. And the colors just shine so much different and so much better than on a white base. And I really, 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 really love it. And this is available for purchase. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It still needs a top coat of crystal resin, but it is available for purchase if anyone is interested. Last thing I am going to show you is a really cool swipe I did at Kathleen's in Florida. You may have seen it, you may have not seen it, but this was my swipe and it was really cool. And I kind of know how to do it now and what I need to do. So I'm going to uh, try more of these in the future and do a YouTube video for you guys. But thank you, Kathleen, for teaching us how to do swipe. I like this because it looks like it's a cloud, like a stormy cloud. But yes, this still needs a top coat of resin as well. But how cute is that? I'm gonna hang this up. I'm keeping this one. All right, so those are the things I wanted to show you. Now, as you can see, there's another canvas here. I'm doing double videos today, um, but you won't get to see this one till next time. But I'm doing, I'm recording both today. So I'm gonna tell you about the colors I'm using. First of all, this is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget, I am going to be in Seattle, Washington on April 27th to the 29th. And I'm going to be there doing the Fluid Art Experience. There's gonna be a ton of artists there. If you want information, um, check out the website, uh, www.fluidartexperience.com. The information is in the description below as well if you wanna click on the link in the description. But go check it out. There's a bunch of artists gonna be there. I'm teaching six completely different classes. All six classes are going to be different, so um, it's going to be a fun time. So if you want tickets and you want to see me in the West Coast, that is the only time I'm going to be there. So come and see me. All right, the base I'm going to be doing is Oxide Black by Amsterdam. So I really love the way the blues um, shimmered on black. So it's a purple day today. And the colors I'm going to use are Permanent Blue Violet Opaque. And this is by Amsterdam, but the Expert Series. Then I have Pearl Lavender Purple by Arteza. Then I have Pearl Violet by Amsterdam. Then I have Pearl Royal Purple by Arteza. And then at the top, I've got Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. So those are my colors. I'm going to be using the flower hair dryer because this is a super duper small canvas. And now that I think about it, I haven't even really thought about the composition I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna flood my canvas and I'll think about that. But in the meantime, for those of you who are new watching and want to know how I mix my paints, all my paints, 
check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new watching and want to know how I mix my paints. All right, I'm gonna flood my canvas. I'll be right back. All right, canvas is flooded. Let's get started. Still haven't really thought about a composition. The whole time I wasn't even thinking, I was just flooding. So I could either do my typical wispy or I could do a side design like corners. Maybe I'll do that. Let's do something fun and different. The problem is this is a small canvas. So the blowout's gonna be, you know, a little harder than normal and you know, I'm going to try and keep the petals apart. I mean like this apart and we'll see what happens. But it is a small canvas and it is going to blow over the edges, obviously. Kind of like that challenge Kathleen made me do um, on the big 20 by 20 inch, right? Like that's a 20 by 20. This is just a 14 by 14. So this might be a little bit more challenging, but I'll figure it out when I do my other video, the one you guys are going to see next. Maybe I'll try a different composition on that one, depending on how this one goes. A lot of you have been asking how my back is. Actually, my back got better like the next day or two, so I was fine. As for Echo, um, he's fine. Totally fine. Eating, acting, playing, drinking, completely fine. Um, but he never pooped out that bone and he never barked it up. So I'm beginning to wonder like, I don't know what happened, but he's fine. So just gonna leave it at that for now. He's, uh, hasn't changed his behavior, nothing. He's eating completely fine, drinking completely fine. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. And that's it. So yeah, for those of you who are wondering. All right, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start here in the corner and go this way, but I'm gonna have to figure out what to do down here. Or maybe I'll start here, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Go with the flow, there we go. I really do. I like the way that worked out. Now, as long as these stay apart, which they should, I actually like the way, see, this one's kind of got like a jolt going this way and this one's kind of like a V shape, but I, I like it. I like how there's that black negative space there and there's black negative space here. So it's kind of matchy matchy. I actually really like that. I think I'm going to do the next one like that too, actually. I like it, and I don't think there's anything I want to change on it. No, there's not. I'm going to leave it as is. Yeah, I am. So I'm going to fix my edges, and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So um, I've actually cheated, and I've already taken the stick, and I scraped the drips already. Um, yeah, I did that already. So do that, do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do the four sides again, and usually a third time and you should be good to go. Um, but look how stunning this is. I'm actually really glad I went with this composition. I really, really like it a lot. And you notice I didn't put any gold or silver in it, um, although gold would have looked really, really nice with purple. But I'm really liking these colors, so I stuck with them. And, you know, gold would look pretty, but 
I like it the way it is. Let's check it out with the flash on. All right, so I have the flash on, but you might not be able to tell because it's so sunny today. It's a beautiful, sunny day. I'm hoping you can see what I see, but I promise you there's lots of shimmer in here because there's the pearl violet by Arteza, or no, by Amsterdam, sorry. And then there's, yeah, see, there it is. It's along the edge. See the rim there? And then there's the Artezas as well. So this is definitely going to shimmer once it dries. And there you have it, everybody. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. So I've done the turquoises. I've done purple. Um, you'll have to wait and see what color comes up next. And I'm really liking the black. So I might stick to this black for a little bit. Because, you know, there's yellows and oranges and reds and pinks and greens. Oh, my. Yeah, really. Um, there's a lot of stuff I can do on a black base. So there it is. If you are interested in purchasing this little 14 by 14 inch canvas, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com or any of the other ones I showed you earlier uh, in this video. Um, and that's it. Don't forget, come and see me in Seattle if you're close by or come and see me anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the other video now <laughs> and then I'm going to go rest. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.